Hi guys, so this is a quick demonstration of the little board I've put together so we can use Wigan data that is sent from biometric readers or indeed any prox reader uh, with varying bit lengths to set and unset an alarm system uh, basically any alarm that has a zone that can be programmed as key switch or dedicated key switch input so Wigan data is sent from the controller whether that be IEVO in this case, Revision 4, Suprema, Hankey, whatever the case may be that is then sent via Wigan data and then on the ship is a list of credentials for users that uh, have access to the setting and unsetting of the alarm system. Uh, in this instance, because it's just a demo mock-up prototype, so to speak, it's just one credential stored on the ship. But you could have a button, like a learn button, so you could learn events, or that could be networked over, uh, over a network, and you could just add users that way, so there's lots of possibilities. But just for demonstration purposes, to keep it clean and simple, there's no, no network connectivity. I've got two fingerprints enrolled on the IEVO reader, but only one of those fingerprints is valid as in a Wigand output number, token number, to the controller itself. <clears throat> I've also got an additional chip with um, some additional, uh, a different version of the firmware which will do prox and um, biometrics as sort of two federal authentication, so I'll, I'll show you that as well. So if I present a finger to the reader that is not registered at all, obviously IEVO will go red um, because it doesn't recognize that fingerprint and uh, in this instance it's been set up not to send any Wigan but even if it did obviously that would not be accepted and nothing would happen now if I present a finger that is valid on the IEVO reader right, let's do that again as we can see it went green uh, because it was a valid fingerprint with an IEVO but nothing happened because that credential is not stored on that chip. Now if I present the finger that is valid as you can see the red LED lit up and obviously you can hear the alarm is proceeding to set. Presenting the finger again will obviously uh, <clears throat> stop the alarm from setting or would unset the alarm if it was already set. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll swap the chip over, um, then I'll show you the fingerprint with Prox as well. So if we present the same finger that is valid in both the IEVO reader and has credentials stored on the new chip, which is the same finger, uh, it will not proceed to set until I also offer the RFID uh, proximity token. So present the finger that is valid in respect of IEVO and Wigan data has now been sent to the controller but when I present uh, the <clears throat> token as we can see yet again it proceeds to set and let's turn it off same procedure okay guys thanks for watching cheers bye